Oh, and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name's Tom with the Massacred Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and learn how to get a certain character in a string. This is referred to as indexing in programming. So what we will do is call a certain index number because strings are in a sequence and they have a certain number to that sequence, we'll call that uh, index number and get that character, all right? So let me give you, some, you guys some examples here so you better understand what I'm talking about. First, I'm gonna create a variable to reference a string in memory, and that string is gonna say string, all right? So we can call it, let's see, it says string, all right? Uh, first thing we wanna do is go ahead and um, get the first character, that would be the capital S here in, um, the string. So we're going to go ahead and do A and then we're going to use square brackets and square brackets indicate to Python that we want to go ahead and index, get the index position. All right. Now in the next tutorial, see, we'll use square brackets again, but once you throw a colon into it, that is called slicing. So we're just getting the index position. So we want the first character in the string and that's always going to be zero. So a square bracket zero square bracket returns a capital S. All right. Now I want you to focus on the one thing I said is the first character in any string or any sequence in Python um, is, is zero. The first index position is zero. All right. Just remember that. If you don't remember anything else from this tutorial, remember the first index position in Python is always zero. All right, so let's go ahead and get the rest of the characters and see how that all works. So we're going to say uh, A1 is going to return T, A2 is going to return R, A3 is going to return I, A4 is going to return N, and A5 is going to return G. All right, so it counts like this, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, now if there was white space in here, it counts the white space as well. Any special characters counts that as well, all right? Any character in a string is counted, okay? Now, how about if we want, since we just count it from the left, we started at the left side of the string, how about if we want to start at the right side? Uh, backwards count uh, index, we can do that as well. We can do A um, square brackets, and we can do uh, negative one. That's gonna return G. So G and G, negative one returns the last, all right. What I'm trying to say is a negative one returns the last character G, all right? So um, when you're counting backwards, it doesn't start at zero. Backwards from the right starts at one. Negative indicates, hey, we're gonna count from the right to the left, all right? Let's take a look at some more here. A square brackets negative two is N, A square brackets negative three is I, A square brackets negative uh, four is uh, R, and A square brackets negative five is T, and A square brackets negative six is S. All right, so that's how we count back from the right hand side. All right, um, what else can we take a look at? Oh, since we are returning just characters here, we're not actually changing the string. So if I say A, I'm still getting string. We never actually change that in place, correct? So if I do A uh, index position of one, I'm gonna get T, correct? I'm not actually changing that in place, but hey, let's give it a shot and see what happens if we try to change that. So let's go ahead and say A square bracket one square bracket, all right? And we're gonna assign it a new value. We're gonna say, hey, I want you to be, um, um, Actually, let's do it this way. So meets up with the documentation on our website at mastercode.online. A square bracket zero square brackets, and then we're gonna assign a new string of a character F to replace the S in um, the string. I'm gonna hit return, and notice this is our first traceback error, our error that we have seen in this tutorial series. Now, when you run into an error, I want you to come down and read usually the bottom line here. And it says type error. It says string object does not support item assignment. Like I've said before, strings are immutable. So we cannot assign F to represent 
uh, or F to replace S. Um, so that's how that works. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and put F in front of that, we could do something like this. Uh, A, let's do um, um, B is equal to F plus, this is called concatenation when you throw the plus in here. This is a little bonus tutorial, by the way, if you guys aren't getting this. And then we're going to go ahead and do, oops, A square brackets, um, one colon and square brackets. Hit return, call B. Now we got for trim, like that. All right. So that's how you would do that. And this is called slicing. So in the next tutorial, I'll see you over at slicing. Have a nice day. If you have any questions, hop over to MasterCode Online and let us know. We'll help you out. See you.